federal agents prepared for and executed the raid on Trump's Mar-a-Lago residence. That was back in August of 22, including deadly force being within the mission's guidelines. Senator, I, I mean, they were well, actually thinking of using deadly force or, or it's on the table that that might be necessary at Mar-a-Lago. If really? you ever needed, yeah, if you ever needed any more evidence about the two tiers of justice, you compare this authorization of deadly force for the former president versus essentially the kid gloves they put on for Joe Biden, who had classified materials from his Senate days in a garage where Hunter Biden shares, who's, a, you know, compromised by foreign governments, right? They treated these very differently. This is just sort of like well, the explanation for it. Senator, they gave a heads up to the or the, the, the lawyer was allowed to go. Uh, the White House lawyer was allowed to go to the garage and kind of check out yeah. the lay of the land first. Right. Isn't that how it yeah. went down? So it was yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the deadly force. OK, yeah, yeah. that that uh, that that really it's really it's great. Laura, I mean, honestly, honestly, it's, it's not crazy. Funny. It's crazy. Yeah. Fox News alert, a major bombshell in the Trump documents case. The FBI authorized the use of deadly force during the Mar-a-Lago raid. This according to documents filed by Trump's legal team. Agents in unmarked polo shirts planned to bring standard issue weapons, ammo, handcuffs, medium and large size bolt cutters, and even lock picking equipment as they prepared to go door to door at Mar-a-Lago. And they did, ransacking Melania Trump's bedroom along with Barron Trump's bedroom. The FBI also took extensive photographs of Melania and Barron's rooms for no apparent reason. Think about this for a second. Joe Biden sent men with guns to his political opponent's house and turned their bedrooms upside down. That's never happened in the history of the United States. And we've had some crazy presidents. This was the former first lady and a professional model. These people are sick. And Biden complains about his son's privacy, Hunter's. He had armed men rummage through Barron's bedroom. The FBI even allegedly had a medic on site in case someone was shot. Trump reacting, quote, wow, I just came out of the Biden witch hunt trial in Manhattan, the icebox, and was shown reports that crooked Joe Biden's DOJ and their illegal and unconstitutional raid of Mar-a-Lago authorized the FBI to use deadly, lethal force. Now we know for sure that Joe Biden's a serious threat to democracy. He is mentally unfit to hold office, 25th Amendment. Trump's lawyers claim that the former president's constitutional rights were violated. It was an illegal search and seizure. The FBI misled the judge to obtain the warrant, and the raid was executed in an egregious fashion and in bad faith. Nor was there any basis for the FBI to bring firearms into Mar-a-Lago. What was life-threatening about pieces of paper? The FBI improperly seized Trump's passports, tax and accounting information, and even medical records. Think about that. The Biden administration seized his political opponent's medical records. Who signed off on it? I personally approved the decision to seek a search warrant in this matter. Second, the department does not take such a decision lightly. Remember, the New York Times reported that Biden wanted his AG to, quote, act less like a ponderous judge and more like a prosecutor willing to take on Trump. This all came from the top, just like the Jan 6 case, the Fannie case, Alvin Bragg's workshop in Manhattan. <laughs> Deadly force in the Mar-a-Lago raid. Yeah. That is insane. Is there any justification for that? Absolutely not. The thing that concerns me about this, the approval of the use of deadly physical force to engage the president and his security detail, who you know, Jesse, is the Secret Service, is a, is a pre-authorization where they assume something's going to happen and they don't even call us for the use of force. We're giving it to you ahead of time, preemptively. But more important and more telling to me is that they told them not uh, to wear shirts that identified them as law enforcement agents, just to wear unmarked polo shirts, and to, I think they wanted to cover up the, uh, the keep law enforcement equipment concealed. Now, why would they do that? 
I don't know, but, you know, my mind as a prosecutor goes to maybe they wanted the engagement of physical force. Maybe they wanted to come in without FBI, without, you know, DOJ, without all of that identifying so that they could engage in deadly physical force. And let me ask you something, Jesse. When we were getting out of Afghanistan, did the Biden administration approve the use of deadly physical force when we had someone in a suicide vest in our sight with actionable intelligence? No. And <laughs> 13, Americans, 13 Americans that died, but crazy. here they're ready to use force. You know, it's they smart. didn't do it against Joe Biden when they seized his records. So when someone is being chased by an undercover, when they're tackled and cuffed, you often hear them say, oh, I didn't know you were law enforcement. Right. You, you know, you weren't, you were dressed like plain clothes. Maybe right. they were looking for a little action. Law enforcement officers of the Department of Justice may use deadly force when necessary. Okay, I'll give them. That's boilerplate. Fine, I'll take that. Uh, this is not boilerplate when it's a former president, his residence, his wife, his kid, and the president didn't right. deny them access before. Uh, why was that directive given? And why wasn't there proper consideration and perspective? Uh, given in this case. Yeah, but Hunter Biden and Joe Biden, who has documents in his garage um, and was not the president, didn't have presidential immunity. There was no directive there. And it's disgusting. President Trump in that case was cooperating, as we know, as I know, and he was doing what he needed to do. You want another paddle? You want another lock on the door? Here's another lock on the door. And then they come in and they do it. Why? This is all a show. President Trump has said it a million yeah. times. This is the Biden Trump show trial after show trial. And guess what? There are falling apart from Fannie to Florida to this. It's falling apart. I know that everyone here will soon be marching over to the Capitol building. Be sure to get out and vote early. 